This is ZQuest. Scientists perplexed by flesh-eating vulture bees. Stop right there. What country? Well, we'll see. But um, let me read further. Okay. Do uh, you know what? Do you know what? It's, it's, it's very telling. Why? What? Telling what? You, anything that don't sound right. What we is... always assume that it's in, in another country. I, I, that was an assumption. That was a hope. Oh, that was a hope. I was like, oh, well, I hope. <laughs> well, I hope it's not here. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. We feel the same way with COVID, but we, we did. We, 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 we and look right. where that got us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might censor us because we, you know, said the word said, the C word. You said the C, C word. word. Bunch of idiots. Go. Uh, anyway, yeah, Walter bees that have quit pollen. Uh huh to feed on dead bodies. That is scary, right? I thought that was Wasp that was doing this. How did they find out that, that dead bodies were their thing? Were they just grouped up at cemeteries somewhere? I don't know. How do you find it? How do you All find right, okay. that out? They would have All had right. to been exposed dead bodies d- there being devoured by these things. Oh, two things. First of all, how did you transition? All right. Take the humans, for instance. Um, if you stranded somewhere and there's no food, you might eat each other at some point. The one that looks the weakest, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, you can say, oh, I wouldn't do it. I, like, I swear, I swear I wouldn't do it. Plus, I don't eat meat anymore. Neither do you. So, I'll be like, no, guys, you know what? No. I don't Unless eat we meat. crash or something and we've established that I, I will eat your and, arm. Uh, I don't need me. I don't need me. But um, you know, because you need to be able to walk still, but you can yeah. do without a forearm. Yeah, that's. We've yeah, spoken about this. Like a, a T Rex. We've spoken about this. Uh, short arms and whatnot. Yeah, I would. I would. I'm not. I'm not that vegan. <laughs> You're not that vegan. Would no. you? Would you eat? Um, We've like, spoken about this, and the answer is yes for survival. I've got to go back to my right. kids. I must process something. They don't eat. They own. Oh, now that makes me own. look even worse. <laughs> <laughs> How quickly can they devour a whole human being, though? What are their te- what's their teeth game saying? What, what's they, well, what are they what saying? saying? I don't think they're designed to eat meat. We've said that, but yet they've ate meat. Well, well let, let me read further then. Yeah. So you want to know, isn't it? Well, they said the same about humans. I don't think they're actually designed to eat meat. And here we go. Oh, that way. Right. Hamburgers are us. <laughs> You know what I mean, though. <laughs> uh, uh, was, it, was it double? We double, wouldn't be the first species. Double, double whopper or oh, some some. Yeah, what yeah. we used to get. Yeah, what we yeah, used to get. Yeah, what we used to get. Uh, such be- <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, reminiscing, reminiscing about, about, about the double meat. Yeah. Um, such bees enter into novel associations with acid-loving bacteria similar to those seen in vultures. Some bees have now evolved evolved mm. the ability to only eat flesh because of an intense competition for nectar. So is that because there's not enough nectar around or because there's more insects around that eat nectar? I'll tell you what, yeah. Off of what I've seen in the garden, it's 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 like a it's a right way out there. I've seen big old bumblebee and let's face it, they don't even produce honey <laughs> coming <laughs> and pushing off bees off yeah, of that flower. That's so true. Like, I'm coming first. Yeah, big big ones like yeah, the ones that you're that even size. like oh and I'm like oh that's a yeah, big one. It's true. Coming a bit like, and leaving off that plant to another one and they don't, they don't care. Watch for like them black one, black and uh, orange one. Don't mm-hmm. care. A bee can be here, they don't care. Well, they're bees, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like a honeybee can be here, they don't care. They will do what they have to true. do. True. So it's 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 rude really out there. Yeah, that's true. It's really hard, you know. Yeah. It's tough world. So, but basically what they're saying is saying uh, there's an intense competition for nectar and of an evolved gut that resembles vultures instead of other bees revealed a new study. Wow. That's why they, they found out that. Well, then they evolved and then now they have the capability then. These adaptations in a little known species of tropical stingless bees or vulture bees are Hang on, also... they're stingless? Hey! 
Okay. Complemented by changes in the kinds of bacteria that live in the gut. So they're friends then. They won't sting you, but if you die, they will eat your flesh. Yeah. 